Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today we are starting a new series, Painters Flowers. We are going to use different painters as inspiration for our flowers. We will start with the most famous flower painting, Van Gogh Sunflower, and we are going to work with three different looks that you can find in his paintings. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First of all, take out 9 pieces of 18 gauge wires for the flower stem. Tape 3 pieces together with some masking tape. Then we cut a few dark green paper strips to wrap around the stem. Stretch your paper out and wrap the wires with some yuho glue. Take out crepe paper in these colors and we are going to make them into flower centers. Cut them into 2.5 cm height. Van Gogh used different color combinations in his sunflower paintings, so you can choose your own. I've prepared myself three sets of different color combinations. Then we will need to fold the crepe paper in half. You might find the folding not as crisp as you expected, because we are folding against the grains. But it is not a problem. Fold all of the paper strips. Add a bit of hot glue to attach the foldings together and roll the paper strip into a flower center. For the first one, I've started with the brown, then black, yellow and end up with the brown strips. When we are done, we add some hot glue at the bottom to support the flower center and let it cool down. Do the same to the other two color combinations. They should look like this. Then we are going to make the petals. For the yellow long petals, we will need to make about 15 pieces from each template. For the brown petals, we will need 30 pieces. Lastly, the budding flower, we will need about 8 pieces of the 7.5cm linking petals. Take out some brown, black and sand colour acrylics. Mix the colours to get a dark brown colour and colour the button petals roughly. A bit like mark making, we add the brown colour irregularly on both sides. Some are darker, some are lighter. We are trying to capture the brush strokes feeling to the petals. Next, we are going to colour the brown petals. We are going to add some very dark brown, almost black, as this pattern. I coloured about 15 petals randomly and left 15 pieces blank. For the yellow long petals, we have coloured the edge of the petals with some diluted browns. Don't forget to colour both sides. Then we are going to make the budding flower. Gather the petals with a pair of tweezers. Fold at the bottom and curl the petals. Do the same to all of them.
Then we can attach the petals with some hot glue to the bottom of the flower center. For the second layer, we attach the petals on top of the first layer. Place them slightly higher than the last layer. Do the same until you reach the last petals. Use a pair of tweezers to adjust the petals. It should look like this. Next, the brown flower. We can simply curl all the petals with our thumb. Then we attach the petals to the side of the flower center with some hot glue. I attach my petals in sections. Some part of the flower is with patterned petals, another part with plain petals. You can play around with the structure. This flower is formed by two layers of petals. The last flower, we need to twist the petals into zigzags, expand the petals a bit and shape them into little thunders. Do the same to all the petals. They should look like this. Then we can add the petals with some hot glue slowly. From the bottom of the flower center to the side, we also need two layers of the petals to make into this sunflower. Shape the petals a little by bending them, so they are more 3D. Now we need to cut some green leaves for the bottom of the flowers. I've used a mixture of olive green and dark green leaves. We shape the leaves the same way we shape the sunflower petals. Then we can attach the leaves to the bottom of the flower center. I think adding the hot glue to the leaf is easier to handle. Keep going around until you fill all the gaps. Use the tweezers to bend the leaves and add a bit of hot glue to style your budding flower. I really love this budding flower. And we do the same to the other two flowers. Finally, we need to wrap a strip of dark green paper to hide the roots of the leaves.
and we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel and let us know how you think about our new series. And all our templates are available on our Etsy store. Check them out. See you guys next week.